Okay, so we're back and we're going to learn how to use the eyelet cam in the Singer buttonholer attachment. And I've got my buttonholer here and I have my little eyelet cam. And it's no different. Um, doing an eyelet is really no different than making a buttonhole. You just make sure that the round circle on your eyelet um, goes around the cog there. So I kind of, and one trick to do this is just kind of insert this this way and then kind of snap it in and make sure it's flush. And you close it up and you're going to again attach this from the back making sure that the fork arm is over the needle bar then you've got your clamping screw now the one thing that I want to talk to you about that I um, that's important and I should have mentioned in the last video is um, when you're turning this crank or the the dial here on the top of the buttonholer and you hear those clicking sounds it's going around the buttonhole template and this cloth clamp is um, uh, shifting in position according to that template with the rotation of the hand wheel it will also rotate the cloth clamp from side to side so depending upon the position of the, the cog is where the, the cloth clamp is in position. Well, if you want to start your buttonholes always in the same spot, then what I recommend is that your cloth clamp, when you go to start, is always on the left side, or that this stripper foot is always on the left side of this cloth clamp as it comes back down the opposite side. So as you can see here, it's more on the right. So I'm going to give this hand wheel one rotation and then turn my dial to make sure that the stripper foot is on the left side here. That, if you always start out that way and you, you know, lower your needle to mark your spot um, or to make sure you're in the right spot for your buttonhole, um, you will always have consistent placed, consistently placed buttonholes. Okay, so making an eyelet hole perfectly center is a little bit difficult. So, especially on a little round um, <laughs> Dresden spool pin plate. So we're gonna do it the back way. And we're going to just go ahead and make our eyelet hole first, and then we will trace um, our template out with the little center circle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron my little um, interfacing circle about where I want to, um, where I'm going to make my eyelet hole. So if I'm going to make my eyelet hole right about here, say, then I'm going to iron my interfacing to about right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll be back to, to do the eyelet hole. Okay, so just like before with the regular buttonhole, I'm going to spin, turn, or turn this uh, knob till the stripper foot is just starting to come back down the other side. I'm going to lower my needle and I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see this really well. I'm going to lower my needle just to make sure that I'm aligned to where I want to be. But I'm not lowering my needle all the way, just basically making sure I'm in the right spot. Then I'm going to drop my feed dogs. <laughs> Excuse me, drop my buttonholer. And then I'm going to turn this again until I'm just starting to come back the opposite side. Then I'm going to pull up the bobbin thread. Sometimes it gets caught under that cloth clamp. Make sure my thread tails, all both of them are at the top. And I'm just loosely holding both of those tails. And these first couple three stitches, I'm going to turn the hand wheel by hand and I'm going to manipulate those top threads so that they fall under the needle, the, the top stitch. So the needle will, thread will catch those as it's going over them. And I'm going to take this really slow because um, with an eyelet cam, you want it on the widest bite stitch. And in doing so, it has a tendency to want to pucker the fabric a little bit more. So I'm going to go a little slower than normal. And as I round that curve, I'm going to pull the threads the opposite side.
And then I'll make my second pass. And then I'll take this out. So now I've made my eyelet hole and I will now trace my uh, large center circle template so that my eyelet hole is perfectly centered. And the basting, or excuse me, the interfacing um, will also be on the back side and it'll be pretty close to being centered. And then you'll do your basting and you'll follow your, rest, uh, your pattern so that you can cinch that up around your cardstock and begin your top stitching. And that is your eyelet hole template. You can see here that my stitches are really, really tiny. So I would recommend a, uh, stitches about 15 stitches to, in, to the inch. So you'll move your stitch length right, um, lever to about 15. And making your stitches really tiny like that will allow you to navigate around that curve with your presser foot. And there's your eyelet hole and your mini Dresden spool pin plate. If you have any questions, give us a call in the shop or visit us on our website.